I'm going to just introduce the where the idea for Ghana came from and um, explain how it's so closely linked to the work that myself and Kasha have been doing together around the gerontological nursing competencies. So when I came to Australia um, about 16 years ago, there was a group called Jerry Action and Rhonda Ney um, and Barbara um, um, now the Barbara's second name's left my head, of course, excuse me. So Rhonda Ney was part of the original Jerry Action Group. But soon after I arrived in Australia, the Jerry Action Group um, was no more. And it was quite sad. So over the years, I've thought about, you know, what could we do? And at the end of 2019, I emailed many of the colleagues who are here today to see what the appetite was for reinvigorating a specialist interest group in gerontological nursing. And everyone um, you speak to is surprised that there isn't such an organization. And the level of commitment to create one was, was high enough for us to embark on this journey. And I met Lynn Day and Hazel Butcher, who are on our executive team, they were also on that similar journey. And then when we were awarded the tender to deliver the gerontological nursing competencies across Australia with University of Canberra, with Karen Strickland, Tracy, Maroney and Kasha, we realised that we had enough momentum to kickstart this initiative and truly um, create a gerontological nursing association for um, us in Australia. So how do you find out more about Ghana? We um, have registered Ghana as an organization and we have hosted the web page for Ghana within the Adhere website, which is the research group that provides the gerontological nursing competencies program. So this is the Adhere website and this is the Ghana website, the web page. So we will build on this as we progress and expand Ghana. You can um, have a look at the Ghana, it's who we are, our vision statement, our mission, um, our executive board members. Um, down the bottom here, already we have some specialist interest groups. We've got our ambassadors and you can go and shop and become a Ghana member. And many of you have already become Ghana members. And in the presentation today, um, Kasha is going to be working through how we're going to achieve our mission. And you can see our first um, mission is to incorporate the wisdom of the First Nations of Australia, First Nation Australians, to ensure that um, this helps us build what we want to achieve with Ghana. So you can have a quick look at that. And then we'll, we'll test, since I'm feeling lucky, I'm gonna test the shop. Here we go. So you go to the shop and when you scroll down here, you'll be able to see the two options for Ghana membership. So underpinning our motivation for creating Ghana is to make it possible for there to be clear career pathways in gerontological nursing. In the acute care setting, there are more easy and um, straightforward ways to create your career. In aged care, there are possible um, avenues for you to have your career, but you have to work quite hard to um, create those opportunities. And you have to be you know, really um, diligent at taking up opportunities. It's not straightforward in aged care. We also want to ensure that AINs and enrolled nurses and student Bachelor of Nursing um, degree students feel welcome to join Ghana. We know that many of the leaders in aged care actually started their careers as AINs or enrolled nurses. We also want to ensure that enrolled nurses and AINs can see that there is a career for them. Not everybody will move up this career ladder, but we want to make sure that people are aware of the opportunities. And the aged care organizations we're already working with are creating those opportunities, but not all aged care organizations are currently doing that. 
We're also, um, because myself and Kasia and the, many of the other members of the executive team are working on the gerontological nursing competencies, we want to illustrate how this is opening up possibilities for progressing on this career pathway. The gerontological competencies have two levels, essential and enhanced leadership GNCs. Those are short courses that we're delivering through bl blended model of learning. That means some virtual workshops and some online learning. And most importantly, there are, is a mentoring component. So every participant who completes the program works in a, a small group and is allocated a mentor. And many of the mentors who are supporting the participants are here today. These short courses run over about six months and they're providing the registered nurses with the, um, the opportunity to demonstrate themselves as specialist nurses. This is what has been missing in the world over in terms of gerontological nursing. The outside world don't really understand the specialist nature of gerontological nursing. And nurses working in gerontological um, areas don't always acknowledge that specialism themselves. They take on board some of the negative um, images of, of aged care nursing and talked about only just doing aged care nursing. We're working to turning that around so that externally, as well as within aged care, people know about the specialist practice. And you can see all these opportunities that we are promoting through this, um, this stepping through the career. And then we um, got together and at International Nurses Day this year, we had a focus on aged care and we were overwhelmed by the number of individuals who were agitating for a specialist group. So myself and Kasha decided we really had to do something about this. Um, we couldn't, we could no longer just wait for somebody else to do it. So this is where um, we got, we managed to convince um, a larger group of colleagues to join us and um, create Gerontological Alliances of Nurses Australia. We had to think very carefully about the acronym because the inclusivity of our mission was very important to us. And that's where we came up with the word Alliance. We had um, an informal launch at the University of Canberra. You can see Tom there and Crystal who will be joining us shortly. And Crystal has created a piece of artwork that um, reflects our vision and mission for Ghana. And we had an absolutely terrific morning hosted by the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Student Centre at the University of Canberra. And actually it was a very windy day and I was very cold so I asked if we could go inside and in actual fact that worked out much better because and the buzz in the um, room really um, helped us celebrate this event. And Crystal has created this beautiful painting. And we had a ceremony where Tom, myself, um, Kasha and Crystal laid um, handprints on the painting to um, signify the start of something very special. So our first mission, um, as I mentioned, is um, to ensure that the wisdom of the First Nations Australians informs our mission. And by having this painting created by Crystal, we really hope this will um, ensure that this becomes a reality. So Crystal has called the painting Yulang. And Crystal consulted with um, myself and Kasha and the group about what we want to achieve. And she turned those words and the, the, the passion into this painting. Yulang is the Wiradjuri word for ripple. And these are Crystal's words. Unfortunately, she's she's actually on a shift just now. She's going to join us shortly. That's what we do as nurses and as a community. We send out ripples, hopefully positive effects, signifying our belief that what we do has impact. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to use Ghana to have a ripple effect. We want to grow the Ghana so that as many 
gerontological nurses as possible can feel that sense of community. And we want to have that ripple effect across Australia in all types of aged care nursing, the community, um, the residential, mm -hmm. the acute setting, volunteer se sector. We want to make sure that we're having that ripple effect. And the more of us who join Ghana, and um, the bigger that effect can be.